Hello everyone. We present here the specificities and status of the FlatSIM service. FlatSIM is an in-cell processing service for Sentinel-1 data, operated by CNES and developed in the framework of the French Data and Services Center Formatair, in collaboration with ISTER, IPGP and LGL laboratories in France. Intel products are delivered to users through a chain of production and delivery modules on the CNES infrastructure, with direct access to Sentinel-1 Level 1 seed data from the PEPS platform. Intel processing is made using a small baseline approach and the NSBAS chain. The chosen processing strategy includes the following steps. The processing of long tracks, up to 600 km long, with 100 km of overlap between contiguous sections of a track. Pairs of images are built for each image with the three consecutive ones and those after three months and one year. We estimate the spectral diversity, correct for atmospheric phase delays, use spatial unwrapping based on coherent path. During the final time series inversion to retrieve the spatial temporal evolution of ground displacement, an automated correction of unwrapping errors is included. We provide a pile of co-registered infograms, wrapped and unwrapped, filtered, multi-looked, time series of ground displacement, and a set of auxiliary data containing key parameters on the processing and quality indicators such as phase misclosure and temporal coherence. Details on the architecture of the production and delivery modules are given here. In the end, a public delivery web service provides an API to access the catalog of products. Metadata are stored on the Formatair Meta Catalog. Download is reserved to authenticated Formatair users. The first call for the service was launched in spring 2020 with eight large study areas selected, covering in total an area approximately seven times greater than that of France for various applications to natural hazards, hydrology, and human impact on ground deformation. We show here an example of the average velocity map computed in the AFR depression, highlighting tectonomagmatic deformation. The figure on the right shows the consistency of the velocity fields in the overlapping area of two contiguous tracks. Eastern Tibet is the largest area covered so far, showing tectonic and non-tectonic, such as permafrost signal, which temporal evolution can also be followed. INSAR and GPS velocities in this area are in agreement within one millimeter per year. We invite you to see Laetitia Lenrabe's talk on Thursday for further details. To conclude, we developed an automated service for in-cell processing adapted to massive Sentinel-1 data, providing average velocity maps, time series, and quality indicators, successful in the first two test areas. The unwrapping step remains a critical step and one-year interferograms are required to limit phase closure biases. We now entered the operational phase. A new call will be launched this year and an incremental mode and a solution for France will be coming soon. Thanks for your attention.